Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Today, we're going to do a reading of My Maddie by Gail E. Pittman, illustrated by Violet Tobacco. My Maddie was added to the Cape Girardeau Public Library in October 20 of 2020. My Maddie also has a copyright date of 2020. My Maddie, what shall we find? Who is My Maddie? Most mommies are girls. Most daddies are boys. But lots of parents are neither a boy nor a girl, just like my Maddie. And presumably this is the little girl that's talking and this is my Maddie. Sometimes my Maddie's eyes look green and sometimes they look brown. Sometimes they look like both or something completely different. I guess this is Maddie. This is a little girl, presumably. Why is that? I asked Maddie. They're hazel, Maddie says. It's a beautiful color, all on its own. My Maddie's hair flows from sort of brown to sort of blonde, to kind of both, but neither really either. If only there were a word like hazel for hair. My Maddie wakes up at the crack of dawn, way before I get up. I like watching the sunrise, Maddie tells me. It's not day, and it's not night. It's something in between, and kind of both, and sometimes all its own. The sky changes from red to pink to yellow. And here's Maddie watching the sunrise. This neither here or there, or day or light. Every morning, Maddie drinks coffee while eating breakfast with a spork. I love sporks, says Maddie. It's not a spoon or a fork, but kind of both. That way, you only need one utensil. Ah, uh, here's the little kid. The little, we don't know her name, but she's uh, looking up with approval. The groomer here says there's no right or wrong. Every day, Maddie walks me to and from school. We talk about all kinds of things. What's your favorite time of the year, Maddie? Fall and spring, says Maddie. The leaves turn the colors in the fall. I say, and in the spring, flowers bloom. Yes, says Maddie. Things change in fall and spring. We have apparently fall and spring happening here and a bunch of androgynous looking people. In fact, most of the kids look like girls, except this fellow, who is apparently a boy. But as far as identifying the rest of these folks, good luck. And here's Maddie uh, giving the young kid a kiss. Before Maddie leaves, I get a big kiss. Maddie's kisses feel like sandpaper against my face. Well, why would Maddie's kisses feel like sandpaper? Would that be maybe razor stubble? Uh, you know, Three-day growth of a beard? While I'm in school, Maddie rides a motorcycle to work every day. It's not a car or a bicycle. It's kind of both. And it's something all its own, Maddie always says. Maybe someday, Maddie will take me for a ride on it. And where might you be going? To Groomersville? When Maddie picks me up from school, I get a big bear hug. Now I know how baby bears feel. Okay. One day, on our way home, it started to drizzle. The sun shone through the raindrops. All right. Look, I pointed toward the sky, a rainbow. The most beautiful things happen between the rain and the sun, don't they? Says Maddie. What are those beautiful things? When I get home, it's after lunch, but before dinner. I'm usually starving by then. Maddie fixes me a snack to tide me over. Right, these uh, stars and most of these stars actually happen to be pentagrams, which is interesting. 
after dinner, before bedtime, every night Maddie tucks me in. Good night, my sweet child, says Maddie. Here she is, this it. We don't know if it's male or female, tucking in this young child. Good night, Maddie. I love you. I love you too. Sleep well and have magical dreams. And between the time I fall asleep and the time I wake up, I do. What kind of magical dreams might she be having? Might Maddie be having? Might maybe encouraging this young girl to have? Now we find a young girl who still hasn't been named. Apparently it is a storytelling day at school. And she is reading her report to the other kids. Some of the best things in the world are not one thing or the other, but in between, and kind of both, and something entirely, fantastically, their own. So what things in the universe are more than one thing? What things in the universe can become a rock or water at the same time? It does not work that way. A boy cannot become a girl, no matter how much these types of books want to encourage that behavior. So now her a crowning achievement is delivering this report to her schoolmates. And she's telling a story about being kind of both and something entirely fantastically their own. Like my Maddie. My androgynous transgender Maddie. And now, at the back of the book, there's notes to readers. And it discusses the concept, most mommies are girls. Most daddies are boys, but a lot of parents are neither a boy nor a girl, like my Maddie. Now we go down here to this particular section of the notes to readers. A note on intersex. A note on intersex for four-year-olds. This book is intended for four-year-olds. When a parent transitions, when a parent transitions to what? Why does the four-year-old need to have any concept or idea about this? When a parent is already living in their affirmed gender, why does any of this material, concepts or discussion, even remotely good for a four-year-old child to read and understand? This is my Maddie. This book is available in the Cape Public Library. It is targeted at four to six-year-old children on the sole purpose of scrambling these kids' minds with this poison. Cape Girardeau Library says they don't have any offensive or obscene materials, that they don't have any appropriate materials that are targeted children. Cape Girardeau Library is lying to you. The Cape Girardeau Library is grooming your children with nonsense like this. These concepts are lies. This is exactly the opposite of what we should be teaching our children. This is trash. This is poison. And we must put an end to this. This is grooming. This is targeting with books like My Maddie.